Hello. I like how it's saying that we're at Parker's Fine yeah, Arts School. Yeah. Doesn't doesn't say the National Art School, just Parker's. Feel um. Give us a clap. A clap. Yeah. <laughs> this is so weird. Yeah. Nice. Oh, is is there gonna be something? Yeah, we'll clap again and that will turn on. Oh, okay. Ready. Nice. <laughs> it'll it'll turn. It, it, <laughs> Yeah, but like, <laughs> it's really exciting. You know what I liked? Because oh, I was watching funny. your interviews the other day and like, because of the green screen or whatever, it was kind of going through. Yeah, yeah, the green screen's yeah. been like slowly taking over more, the, yeah. more and more of the set. I quite like that. Mm. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Initially, Dak and I were worrying about the green screen because it, you know, I did it the first time with the video. I was like, oh, this is real shit. <laughs> Because we were, you know, <laughs> hoping for this, like, flush outline. Yeah. And, you know, we'd gone in all the trouble to, you know, yeah. put it all up. And it looked real shit. And then I, I kind of sat on it for a minute. I'm like, oh, no, I actually kind of like this better. It looks like we're holograms. Now. Yeah. No. And, I, uh, you have get like, that moment where it switches. Yeah. Because, <laughs> <laughs> like, I remember when you were talking about it, like, we were walking back. Mm. And I was like, oh, that's actually weird. I was, yeah, I was like, that's going to be really cool. Like, yeah. I can't wait to set this up at Big Jack's house. Yeah. To record the comedy pod. That'd be good. Yeah. That's going to be funny. All right, so we've got a bit to cover, and it's fucking hot, so we'll burn through this. <laughs> yeah, it's like, can. literally. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we met on Drawing Week at a time where... I knew that I needed to get out there and do something more yeah. communally minded with my art, which at that time I thought teaching was, you know, yeah. the obvious answer. Um, so I got to know you as an intern on Drawing Week. Um, you and Maddie together, really. Yeah. In uh, discovering you through your work and. I guess we could kind of start with observational drawing and yeah. what it means because it's been, you know, quite a um, important and powerful vessel for us since. Yeah, I think um, like observational drawing and like I like drawing week is just such it's so great. Like because you get to meet or like like I got to meet you, but like just this, yeah, you get like that sense of community, which I think NAS is really. Mm. Um, yeah, you meet broader parts of the cohort you might not have yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sort of sat down with before. Yeah, and like they all sort of have different ideas and they're at different points in their making, which mm. I think is really cool. Um, no, I I think, yeah, I really, really enjoyed that week with you. <laughs> and as, as Anthony and Elise was our lecturers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was, yeah, that was really fun. Um, yeah, and yeah, me and Maddie just had a, had a blast. <laughs> we pretty much mugged <laughs> around. And um, no, um, yeah, observation. I think, yeah, with with that observational drawing, I, you need to have that as a fundamental. Um, so it's really great that they kind of push that here. Um, it, I find like it like informs you, I guess, with anything that you're doing. Um, and I quite love that. Like you can see that sort of in that in your like your world. Like, and it's really. Um, yeah, it changes the way you, you look at things or yeah. even just move through the world. Yeah. yeah, well, I feel like a lot of the things we see are, like, you know, on that sort of plane. Like, mm. you know, you're on your phone all the time or, like, we went to when we went to the gallery, there was, like, that exhibition, um, the White Rabbit. With the, mm. um, and I thought that was really cool how they had, like, those... They had, like, pictures of people um, on their phones all the time. Mm. And you're sort of, like... That's that's pretty much where we're at. Like everyone's just constantly more worried, I guess, about something that's not in front of them, mm. which is quite sad. Um, yeah, well, it's getting to the point now where, I mean, Henri you just met upstairs. He's got yeah. a fascinating painting practice, and he's done these grid paintings yeah. um, where the colours sort of slowly change. And he was telling me the other day there about how our vision, like our cognition, in so many ways, has been changed yeah. by 
these mediums. Yeah. And apparently now the eyes are so, we're much more in tune for horizontal and vertical arrangements for these neat yeah. grids that pervade everything. Yeah, it's, it's really, like, because even when you look at, like, computer programs and that, it's just, like, they're all structured the same. Like, they're, you know, you have, like, your, your main sort of section at the top and then it kind of, like, it's really... I don't know where I'm going with this, but, <laughs> but um, yeah, I've, I've been noticing that a lot um, working with computers at the moment. Yeah. But, um, yeah. But, yeah. Sorry. Let's <laughs> take a big break. Yeah. Oh. All these texts in here too. crisscross strokes, little X's, little X's just like so, just begin dropping in a happy little sky. And do these little X's, see? Little X's. There. That's just the way the teacher used to grade my paper in school. She'd just run across it and go ch 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 I like how it's just like, you can see yeah, that's really cool. Nice. Check it's working. Yep. <laughs> Try one more time just to be All safe. Right. Oh, that was a really crap crap. Crap. Clap. Crap clap. clap, clap. <laughs> there we go. That, that should work. Yeah. Cool. So, we have to talk a bit about copper because. You know, oh, we love copper. Well, as, <laughs> you know, when I met you and Maddie, I was done with printmaking. Yeah. There's yeah. no other way to put that. Much done with printmaking. And, but, you know, the kind of interest you both showed in that kind of work yeah. led me to seek out the facilities again and, yeah. and keep making it. Yeah. And you especially became kind of the central figure in the copper project and the way that's that's happened yeah. I, I think it was it was a really great project um just in terms of like yeah you, you're using your knowledge in um sort of observational drawing mm. but then they sort of deteriorate and I, I like the fact that you, you're starting from a pictorial sense and mm. it's just like the information slowly mm. and it's like a memory shifting or fading which I think is really lovely and I think on top of that like it's a, a a work that I guess you can go out and have a chat and like we you know we'd go and like get our egg mac muffins yeah. and stuff like that and just be out there for hours and just like yeah. you know wandering around cemeteries and random places but yeah I, I love that that was like I really enjoyed making them with you um they're they're fun to make, just relaxing, but they also have this interesting notion of time and like they sort of, yeah, that deterioration of time, mm. which I think is really like sort of, it's a conversation, but it changes, mm. which I think is really cool. Yeah. yeah. Kind of started with the excursions, didn't it? Yeah. I think it started with, was Waverley Cemetery the first one we went to? I think so. Yeah. yeah, that was really fun. Because that's where I think that's where the tombstone shape started. Mm. And they started cutting things up to that. Yeah, because like that's a beautiful place. Mm. It's it's weird, isn't it? Because it's like it's very strange, like a, a cemetery of that size. Yeah. Up on a cliff above the ocean. Yeah, like it. <laughs> It's a, like you feel very somber when you're there, but then it's also beautiful. Yeah, and very peaceful too. Yeah, I quite, yeah. If I, if I had to be in a cemetery, which I don't really want to be, but that would be, mm. that <laughs> near the beach would be um, ideal. Yeah, yeah, although Maddie's old question, if you could haunt anything. Oh, uh, wasn't it a light bulb? Or a... I said a church organ, just because yeah. they never even tear that down. <laughs> 
but maybe Waverley Cemetery <laughs> would be a good, good thing yeah. to adapt it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, just something really like weird, like a toast that would be funny. Like just burn people's <laughs> toast that you <laughs> put like smiley faces or something really stupid. Like, yeah. yeah, I don't know. It's probably <laughs> yeah, but um, oh, I also with the copper because when you came up um, to mum and dad's. Yeah, so it all kind of developed further because you know. When you were here, we were able to, you know, have those day trips and yeah. spend a bit more time together. But it was cool that, you know, not that it was cool once you left. It, yeah. It sucked, to be yeah. honest with you. But it was cool that we were still able to get them done mm. around the conditions of that time. And, yeah. You know, I'd just been diagnosed with chronic stress, which yeah. still fucking plagues my life, to be honest. But you gifted me a fucking trip out of that hellhole yeah. that was Sydney at that time and yeah that, and out. that was a messed up time because that was like right on the peak just before lockdown and everyone was super stressed mm. yeah I, I mean come up anytime <laughs> yeah. like, it's like it's a nice place to be especially mm. when like you're not 100% I mm. think you need to have that time out yeah. yeah and I think there's two things I need to unpack in how that trip kind of let that project grow outwards mm -hmm. and the first was something you touched on last night and mm -hmm. that was and i forgot about this was yeah. the fact i was dunking the plates in the water i love that yeah things like that it <laughs> yeah. was getting me closer to the sites i was working with yeah. and getting to work somewhere different yeah i think that was like that was a really turning point for the project was mm -hmm. like when you were taking them out in the elements and actually leaving them and like the actual like the time or the history of that is sort of cemented in that action but it it sort of replicates that through that like deterioration and it would deteriorate differently like you're saying that you put one in your flat was it new yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's like completely different to like mm. another one so it'd be interesting even playing with like the idea of space mm. I, I feel like that would be really cool mm. yeah no, it's, yeah, really fun. Yeah, I think, yeah. I'm really glad we did that one, mm. yeah. So the second way that that trip has really added some weight to the project has been in the way the plates allow me to interact with people mm. outside of the arts. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that started with your parents, which yeah. <laughs> was fascinating. Yeah. I mean, I'll let, I'll let you tell this one because... Yeah, oh, dad, <laughs> Ian. Um, no, I think it was like the the one that got him was when you started drawing his fire pit, mm. and he was like, "Oh, this is actually really cool." I was like, "Yeah, he's not super into art, but like, I think it's more um, he likes things that are beautiful, and he likes sort of like the, like the landscape and like you know like traditional. I think is probably a good word, but um, so he struggles." I think we've buy paintings, <laughs> but that's fine. Like, I don't mind. Um, and I think, like, him seeing that and he's, he's seeing the initial, I suppose, stage of the process where you, you're sitting there and actually, fit, like, drawing something using your observation, um, he was sort of like, wow, you can actually, like, you can draw? I'm like, <laughs> well, I, I hope it's half decent. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've, you know, been you know practicing for a little bit <laughs> so that was quite funny um it is funny the idea that you know if you go if you go to like say this show yeah there should be an understanding you'd think in theory that everyone has received a certain like a minimum amount yeah. of training like yeah. we've all got some sort of yeah. shops in yeah in drawing, drawing. Yeah. but i think yeah there is a bit of that tendency to be like the final results like <laughs> Okay, that's what they've been doing for two years. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, I mean, you were mentioning too that, um, you know, even since we were doing the cop and stuff, you've been taking friends out now in your, in your van oh, to draw. I love it. Yeah. It's so great. Um, you know, because, like, we do a lot of, like, headland drawings, obviously, because it's just beach and headlands up there, mm. um, just for fun. But, like, a lot of them aren't, like, weren't, 
into like drawing and like that sort of side and then I've come back and I'm like yeah you should like you know and we were sitting in the van one day um with one of my friends Elle um and she she like she's really into art but she's never had the like I would say the time to kind of like explore it because she's like quite I think she could get she like she's quite talented just naturally um but we sat there and we just did some drawings um is that playing <laughs> that'd be a bit awkward yeah I was just checking it but... yeah <laughs> it's still going um yeah so she um we sat there and we drew each other um and that was really fun I hadn't done that in a, a while like like a life drawing um but like it was just nice to have those conversations again with people that aren't necessarily like you know go to NAS or like um and a lot of the drawings like they're not like I, I suppose like observational like they're not pictorially yeah. sound but yeah. they're beautiful but they're, in but they yeah own they're regard. completely they're, they're stunning and they've got yeah. their own sort of like character and like I, I think I mean I feel like our aesthetic inclinations Hmm. Alongside, say, Mary Ann, very drawn to outsider art as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. I, I oh, actually, talking about Mary Ann, so we watched the um, life drawing show on SBS. Life drawing life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we did it with I did it with Mum. It was really great to see her drawings because she's never like picked up a pencil, um, and they were beautiful. Like they were just like they were not right, but like it didn't matter. It was just like she really enjoyed that, and I, I think that's like so cool that yeah. like, like just spending the time to kind of. Mm. I think there should be more stuff like that because oh, it's totally. just it's just like it's a way to get people sort of interested, um, which I think just I think that's just as important. Um, mm. Just yeah, that happened so early on in the, in my masters too. I, I actually forget that, that you know that really yeah. probably shaped a lot of what I ended up doing as well. Yeah, well, I think because your work's sort of like it's engaging with other people as well. Like you know, we're doing an interview, so it's a conversation, and that's the idea of like, I suppose like a line of like a drawing line. It's the same, which I think is really like beautiful. And Isn't poetic. it funny too how like you had. So your mum did it with you? Yeah. Yeah, you had your mum doing it. And yeah. Like, I had a, my partner at the time was yeah. doing it with me. And I I was super excited for Marianne that she was going to be on TV. Yeah. Like, kind of stupidly excited. Yeah. No, I was. Being her student. <laughs> and uh, so I, I was trying to get all my art friends into it. Yeah. And they couldn't give a shit. They are yeah. like, you know, like, yeah. who cares? It's TV. You hate TV. And yeah. life drawing, like, when do you draw people? But I found that experience so cool because I spent the... I was stuck on the boat with my dad mm. that day. I remember And I spent this. the whole day just messaging people. Like, <laughs> oi, cunts, you got to tune in the telly tonight and do this with me because yeah. no, you know, we it's going to be fun. Yeah. And it got such a reaction out of people that were like, oh, my God, yeah. I can learn a bit about what the fuck Ollie's been doing <laughs> in the fucking four or five years since yeah. I've seen him. yeah. No, we. I will, it was the same for me. Mm. But like, I love that. Like, I love the engagement of. Yeah, mm. I, I remember. I, I do remember you talking. About you got like really badly sunburned or something on the phone. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> You're like, oh. I got really drunk. <laughs> well, that's not the best conversation, no. is it? <laughs> it's like, yeah, but uh, no. I think yeah. I think that's a really cool. Um, I, I think art making it communal and like talking about it to like sort of more broadly Mm. and it makes it more accessible it's exciting because like people you get to experience new things all the time but like you know and you you find what kind of makes you tick with with it and I think that's like the best part about you know making stuff is because it just it makes you sit there and makes you think about things and you go hey like you know if I do it this way you know, like, what am I, what, why am I doing it that way? And I like that sort of, you know, it's constant. And I think when you do it with people, it's the same thing. And they, you know, have a chat about it. And yeah, it's really cool. Cool. Yeah. Let's take a quick break and switch the camera over. Oh, <laughs> Shelley said my son <gasps> made me <laughs> this card. It's the best card I've ever received. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's a beautiful flower. Isn't it, it is a beautiful, it's a beautiful flower. Gemma flower. says this is my daughter's drawing of Harry Potter's final battle with Voldemort. <laughs> That's an impressive wand. <laughs> Again, Very nice. is it gonna? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a good clap. Very nice. Should... Yeah. So. You know what it reminds me of? Mm. It's like, you know, the holograms of like the Jedi Council. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, I was watching one the other day and I was like, like, am I gonna be like Mace Windu, but less cool? Like, that would be very cool. Yeah, I've been watching a lot of Star Wars, though. So I'm sorry. Like, this is what oh, happens when... Oh, that's the most Tara reference ever. Oh. Completely out of the Yeah, that's... Sorry. I'd love that. <laughs> I'm going to... I made a... Um... So, when I moved back, mm. my first paycheck, I bought a Lego R2-D2. Oh, yeah, um, tell me about that. So cool. <laughs> it, like, moves. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I don't know where I'm going with this, but it's. I should have brought it in as a prop. So, before we uh, head off into our lives, I just wanted to go kind of briefly over your practice a little bit. Um, and I mean, to open with that, I guess we've got to talk about time as a material of the work. Yeah. Um, maybe briefly, could you just go over maybe the process of how you build your paintings? So, um, it's a very much a time-based thing. Um, I, um, I've been looking a lot at... So, like, I suppose it started sort of at the end of the, like, last year. Mm. Um, I started doing, like, a heap of, like, transfers and stuff like that. Um, which, you know, they weren't going anywhere. Like, they were fun to do, um, but they weren't engaging. Um, From, like, a labour perspective. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, they looked interesting, but they weren't sort of... What was, was, I wasn't talking about anything, really. Mm. Like, I, I enjoyed, like, sort of capturing stuff. Like, I would, a lot of them were, like, on transit or, like... Um, lack of like places that I sort of would be traveling through um, and then I would like sort of mix up the sort of pattern because I'd do it like in a grid but yeah it wasn't going anywhere <laughs> let's just put it that way um, but there was a lot of residue on the floor with it because um, you just sort of labor laboring um, and then you know I kind of like I think during that process, like, that, the actual residue was probably more mm. important than the actual work, which was interesting, like, it was an interesting kind of thing to start ticking over. Um, and that's, that's interesting to me, the idea that in the transfer there's that, yeah. all that material doing the work and... Yeah, and that's actually not mm. important, like, it... I think, and that's like life in general, like, mm. you, you know, you, you do heaps of things and then, but like, what is actually important? It's like when like, you know when, this is a really weird analogy, but so, you, you know when you start a new job or you go to like a class and they, they ask you to introduce yourself and it's mm. like the shittest thing because you're like, what, what do I say? Like, my name is Tara, I like my van. And Wales. And Wales. And like, <laughs> like, like you, it's sort of like, you're like, shit, like, what is my life? Like, there's, mm. like, it's like this existential moment <laughs> yeah. where you're like, what do I actually do? Like, yeah. um, and I suppose, like, that was like, I, I had, like, weird, so, like, Pop passed away in that period. Um, and, yeah, it, you know, like, he was, like, my yeah like I, I loved it. It was my best friend 
Um, and you have so many of those memories that kind of, even now, like you can kind of just sort of go back to them. But they, they're, they're going to change over time because memory isn't perfect, um, which is sad. But I think... I feel like if memory was perfect, we'd all be traumatised. That's true. That is very true. Um, yeah. Uh, I just, yeah, it, it's, it's funny, isn't it? Like, um, I have, um, I think it's more about what's left behind, yeah. I guess. And that's where that came in. Um, so I ended up getting these beautiful, like, spent way too much money on canvases. And I, I pretty much hugged them for, like, two weeks straight because I didn't want to touch them (laughs) Um, (laughs) but the idea was like all the residue that wasn't actually like the important part of I guess um, the work was the the remainder of the work so that's where that came through so like the and I think that's like with a person it's like you know like they're gone but like they're not really but like, there's always going to be some form of like them um you know and like i think on his anniversary i made mum and grana plaque up and like because he loved whales so like um yeah it was just like george barker lover of whales um and it's really nice because like they can go and they can you know sit there and watch the whales with him and it's just yeah I think that's important is to yeah I think on that as well something I talked about with Marianne that I think we could agree upon is something that's really not just beautiful but interesting about art making is when art can exist in the world seamlessly without any need for people to identify it as art yeah and I love the way the copper does that I love the way your plaque for your yeah granddad does that yeah and it's, I think it's beautiful when art intersects with community in these ways yeah I, I agree I think like art doesn't need to be a it doesn't need to be a painting it doesn't need to be a drawing it doesn't need to be art like it doesn't need to be commodified in yeah any way. yeah it's more about like communications and art like a, you know poetry or like you know when you have a song it's like it's beautiful like mm. We were sitting last night listening to like just like incredible music and it was just like that's it was so beautiful that you sort of you're getting emotional and I think it's not it's more about the idea of like you know like it's not not necessarily about the outcome of it which I think is really important um I think I think we've like like because my works are quite physical like they're big and they're you know um actually I'm doing some small works at the moment yeah right it's really fun um I'll have to show you some actually <laughs> but um they're in the van all right cool. yeah yeah they just travel with me up yeah, constantly nice. <laughs> but um I like I like those ones because they're calming in a weird sense like if you just look at them um and they they work well with space and it's nice to have work that just is part of the space and that's another thing it's like if you leave something somewhere it's going to have a trace mark like you're going to spill something on it or like you know so there is like a like a little bit of the incidental in that but it's not it's not an intentional part of the practice but it just sort of makes the the work I guess have a history which I think is really important yeah but no I I think cloves, I think they're very cool too. Um, yeah, you're big into your, your clothes and your textiles. Uh, I'm big into cloves. Yeah. Um, I need more. <laughs> <laughs> I have, um, I think this has been the hardest thing about moving is like I have nowhere to put them. So I have them in rotation at the moment from oh, yeah. the back of the van, <laughs> um, which is really embarrassing. But we had. I don't have to show you it actually but um, I've got I made a made a draw mm. for the van I measured it with an esky oh yeah you were showing me that <laughs> it's 
really good. <laughs> it's really good. I can like, you know, I've got an esky, I've got a bed. I've got clothes. It's great. Very nice. Yeah. But no, I think. Cool. Yeah. Thanks, Tara. Thanks for coming on. Thank you. I don't know. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah. I love your rage hat, by the way. It's just, it's just really cool. Yeah, it's good. One. Yeah. It's good. One. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. Let's turn this shit off so we can yeah, talk I think off so. camera. That would be, it's so much.